So, g'day, fellow Bandai collectors. How are you going? Uh, so, this is a video a lot of you have probably known about. This mainly affects people who actually make videos, but it does affect everyone. So, if you've actually seen um, other channels, so here we have our Creator Fundamentals, and they've actually made a video called Fight Back Against FTA Copper. And this is actually a US law, so it actually doesn't apply to an Australian resident, but it does apply to YouTube. And YouTube is a US based company, so it has to obey United States laws. So, how would this affect coin collecting channels? Well, basically, how it goes is um, you're not supposed to advertise to children. That's fine, I understand that. So, um, they, you know, like attract children, uh, so advertisers and all that attract children, so they can't basically put their advertisements if they know that person is under 13 years old. Yeah, that's fine. But, here's the tricky part. If your content is specifically made for children, and everyone is supposed to mark their videos as either being made directly for children or not made for children or they can actually that's a a bulk content or they can actually go to each video and mark it as either for children or not so when it comes to coins we are not sure if these are made for children but basically all the coin channels are and all my subscribers most of them are over 18 and they are basically made for adults so we have uh, adult channels that basically could appeal to children that's where Capra comes in copper um, it, it it's pretty vague the actual laws uh, I have read them I can't remember them off my head but basically if your channel could be appealing to children then it they could actually declare it as a video that's made for children because children are appealed to it and they could actually say oh it's made for children and i would not be surprised if people under 13 do watch coin channels because they like to find out what their interests are they're just coming in they they actually just watch anything See if it's interesting. If they like it, they keep watching it. If not, they just go, nah, not for me. Just like anyone else. So they would actually watch a channel. And if you mark your videos as not uh, intended for children, then the United States FTA comes along and says, but we actually think your channel is for children, or your video is for children they can go and you lied because you thought it wasn't for children we say it is you get a 42,000 US dollar fine and that's probably equivalent to like $60,000 of Australian and as we've seen with some other channels uh, there's another one oh, who is it uh, <laughs> AFOL man He's, he makes Lego videos uh, basically for adults but that stuff would appeal to children so he has actually decided no nah, no nah, I'm not gonna wish it he only he said he only got paid thirty dollars per month in advertisement so he just decided it's just not worth actually making videos and this is where coin channels come in if we see just one channel that is marked as um, made for children then I think a lot of people are just going to say, oh, I do like coin collecting. I'll make this channel because I like coin collecting and I want to show people about coin collecting because I like, I like to actually show people what they can actually find in coins. Um, I'll start some noodling later on when I get back. And I like to warn people about yeah, rip-offs, especially on eBay. I hope oh, it's a bit windy. So anyway, if 
you know, I am potentially going to get fined for 2,000, oh, a bit more per video, then it's just really not worth my bother actually going to uh, make a video, even if it's not monetized. And you click um, not made for children, you could still get fined. Really, that's just the way I see it. It's actually a bit vague, and people were actually quite confused about it. Because the FTA are a law unto themselves, pretty much. They can go, blah, 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 blah. You pay the fine. Yeah. So, that is... A bit confusing. And a lot of people actually use their ad revenue from YouTube to actually... Um, buy stuff like in my 10,000 subs I've got a few things I want to give away and that's what the ad revenue is actually doing I'm just slowly building it up and uh, I've actually forgot to give a give stuff away for 5,000 subscribers so maybe I'll actually make another video on that as well because why not mm. I thank you very much for watching my videos awesome please like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you think I'm an idiot, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I got a bit sidetracked there. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so, people, if someone actually got fined, they never have a coin channel's going, damn, if they can get fined, I can get fined. I'm not making any more videos. Oh, I put them all on private. YouTube is not for me. And if you see all those kids' channels that are out there, they are just going to, they're going to just disappear. Because a lot of those people make it, they probably would have made it for fun at first. But then they got some money, and with that money, they buy new stuff, they buy better equipment. Then they improve their style. Then they decide to make it a income. And then uh, if they're not, if they're, their income just disappears then they're most likely not going to worry about making videos for kids although some of them probably would still hang on if they have um people who will oh, what do you call it they will pay them to review a toy or something like that but with coins uh there is no the the mints around the world and the private companies that sell coins are not really going to pay you to review any coins because they don't, you know, like downies or whatever, they're not going to do that. They don't make anything themselves. And the Royal Australian Mint's a private company owned by the government. Oh, that's a bit of a contradiction. So they're not really going to... Um, send out anything to any of the coin channels same with the US Mint anyway so uh, we're advertising for them but you know we do it because we like it I'm not complaining uh, I don't advertise everything just uh, oh talk about that there's another RAM competition come up need to make a video thank you for reminding myself Glenn yeah you're awesome Glenn bloody oaf I am yeah so anyway, that's what is likely to happen. People get scared, they go, I'm not paying 42000 and then they go, bye. But I did say that those laws don't apply in Australia. So they can't actually collect the fine in Australia. But they can actually get around that, you know. As in Australia, if you don't pay a fine, they issue a warrant for your arrest. Mm. You got twenty videos. You got fined on each one. That's like eight hundred thousand dollars. That's really worth an extradition to the United States. So they go to, uh, they put it on. Probably go through Interpol, and then they probably come to Australia and go, "Oh, this guy owes us money. We want to extradite him back to the United States to serve some jail time because he's not paying the fine." And the government goes, oh, there's a warrant for his arrest. Oh, okay, I grant that warrant. Glenn, you have to go to the United States. Have a nice stay in jail with Bubba.
So then they can extradite you to the United States and then you have to serve some jail time because you didn't pay a fine. So, uh, it's very interesting. And that will also scare people in other countries as well. Except Russia, because they can't extradite Russian citizens to any other country. And probably a few other countries also have that law. So anyway, this video's gone on a bit long. Uh, there is a petition, I'll leave a link down below, to let the FTA know in the United States what you think. I think most of their submissions will probably be negative, and the FTA is going to have to rethink what they are doing. So anyway, I hope you find this video informative, because it can affect these coin channels, as I am one. And uh, just remember, what governments do affect you. Thank you and bye-bye.